today's video it won't be a very long video today but uh, I just thought I'd give you a quick update you know uh, the koi fry koi have spawned uh, they are in very good condition and I have uh, treated them with some malachite green you know so I just thought I'd give you that quick update I would like to say my water is very very dark because of the roof above the pond I am going to uh, put a big light on the roof eventually so it shines down and brightens everything up you see and uh, but yeah I just thought I'd give you a quick video of the fish today you know and there they are they're not being very sociable today to be honest with you you know I don't know if it's something to do with the temperatures or I'm gonna have to uh, re-net her as well she's is a uh, Got a mark on the side and uh, also treat her. You see, I, I, I try to do it every now and again because I don't like to stress them. Because, you know, the pond's quite large, they swim off, and then I've got to try and corner them. And, you know, they're very good at hiding and uh, it's impossible to catch them. So when I do catch them, it stresses them out very much. And uh, she, in general, puffs blood from the gills. And, you know, I, I try, I do use Koi Calm on her, and then, you know, she takes ages to revive. She generally just does not like being caught, and there she is on the left hand side of the screen. You know, so, she's got to be done, which I'm going to get round to doing later on this afternoon. But uh, there she is, look the right one, one on the right they just don't seem to be very happy today you know they're not clamped up but they're just over the other side of the pond you know yes she is like the one that needs a, a side doing If I step away from the camera a little bit, they'll come up. So I'll just do that now. I'll move away. Yeah, they've gone a little bit shy because obviously I've been netting them for the spawning. So, and whenever you put the net near near the pond, unfortunately, they get, they go a bit sulky. You know, some people have different views on plants in ponds and, you know, for me, I just like to see them foraging. You know, I think it, I'm not saying other people's fish are unhappy, but I just like to see them foraging through the branches and, like, over there, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there's koi around that plant and they're making the branches move and they're digging for the bits of food out, you know, and also when they're over there in the water, water lettuce you know it's just nice to see it and just try to keep them as busy and occupied as i can really it's like giving a dog tours and uh, you know i see the plants as being their toys not only that but it provides them natural food and it also helps with the water quality but like i say everybody has a different view whether to put plants or not in a koi pond obviously i don't just have koi in here i have some beautiful mirrors 
some of them are ready to be spawned as well the only problem with spawning them is I don't know if I'll be able to get rid of the fry or sell them all afterwards uh, like this one I don't know if you can see her she's just coming under the thingy she's a beautiful linear you know she's qu quite big but like I say I just don't know if I'd be able to uh, sell them on for the cost it takes to look after them and grow them so right now I'm thinking of sp just sp spawning them and uh, placing the eggs back in the pond for natural food but you know if anybody's interested in some uh, mirror and common common babies hit me up and uh, can discuss it you know I'm not Oh, they wouldn't be expensive, mainly they'd probably just be for cost. I'd give them away for cost. Uh, say give, you know, we can work a price out and I'd like say, if you, if, you, if you want them for whatever you want them for. And, but for me, those fish have got meaning, you know. I've said before in one of my videos, you know, that some of these fish that weren't originally mine, you know, the, my best friend was obviously killed on a motorcycle incident and uh, so those mirrors was his fish so those mirrors to me are as much loved as the koi I, I just couldn't get rid of them they've all got a unique personality you know but like I say if anybody would be interested in some mirrors possibly not this year maybe next year and uh, can hit you know DM me and we can uh, Get you that sorted out, like I say, for costs, obviously. But yeah, you, you know, I've got some real beautiful chad boys in here, Jinrin ones, I've got Sura boys, High Sutra, you know, Krishogis. You know, I've got a couple of ghost carp again, you know, they was my friends, so I, I, can't, I couldn't face getting rid of them, you know. Like this guy here, he was what my friend's koi. So, you know, there's certain fish in here that means a lot to me, so. And I've, I kind of built this pond in his memory, to be honest with you. You know, and, uh, still a lot to do, but you know, Things happen for a reason, and uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. One of the big, beautiful mirrors is on the right-hand side of the screen. I don't know if you sure come in, but she is bursting with eggs. Mm. There's my baby. That's the one that gave me the fry eggs, bless her. Sweet. I love my dark me pondies as well. Because I just love it how they come up out the darkness and uh, look amazing. Especially at night, it can be pitch black and all, and all of a sudden they just, one will just appear followed by another one, you know. Fantastic. I've also got some other residents living around the pond. I've got this gigantic spider. I don't know really much about spiders, like, but to be honest, an outside spider that size is is, uh, is huge. I'll post a video at the end of this video for you guys to have a look at it. You know, <laughs> but for me, I just look, look like I know it's not a natural pond, and but I try to make it look natural from the angle that I'm currently sat at now. You know, like I've got deck in that you can sit at and you can look down and it's just boom straight down to six foot and uh, yeah that will be it for today guys unfortunately like i say if you've got any questions or anything just comment or send me a message and uh, i'll get back to you thank you very much